Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install GIMP. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. But I'm going to jump right in, I'm going to type GIMP here. There we go. Now you want to go to the first site right here, the GIMP.org. Now here, as you can see when we're on the main page, here you will see the download and you can see the latest version right here. So you're just going to click on that. Now you have three options here. It's a preference, but most of the time you want to do directly and that's what I'm going to do. And as you can see, it's downloading here up in the right corner. Now as you can see, it's actually done up here. So what I'm going to do then is actually go to show in folder. As you can see, it's right here in my downloads. I'm going to double click on it. Now you could install it only for you, but if you have multiple users on your PC, you can actually just install for all users. It's also what it's recommended. So I'm just going to do this right here. Just if Windows asks you, say yes. Then here we have English. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to click OK. Here you want to actually go to Customize. I'm going to do Next. Here you can actually browse where you want it to be installed. But in general, you can just keep it like this. Next. Right here, you can actually select some things that you want to be installed or not. So you can do a compact one or custom installation. But that's up to you. It's terms of disk space. But also, if you feel like any of these features aren't necessary for you, you can just uncheck them. And afterwards here, I'm just going to keep all of them checked. So I'm just going to do next. This is also preference, but let's do for the sake of this tutorial, let's create a desktop icon. I'm just going to do next. And here we're going to click install once again. It just finished, so we're going to just click finish here. Now going here to my desktop, I actually have, as you can see right here, the name GIMP with the latest version next to it. I'm just going to click on it to actually launch. And as you can see here, I'm just going to make this bigger. We are within GIMP right here. As you can see, it is as simple as that. The next video on my channel will be about how to use GIMP for beginners. So you can always check them one out if you will. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.